Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Robert from How Does Computer Repair. Today I'll be showing you how you can change your account lockout threshold on local accounts in Windows 10. Now, pretty much what it does is how many attempts you have before your account gets temporarily disabled, locked out, not disabled, locked out until the set of minutes that it is usually it's set up by 30 by default. I made some other videos there of how you can change the durations, it would be, but that's another video. I'm going to be showing you how you can change how many attempts it is before it locks your account. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can just through um, local security policy that I'm pretty much going to show you first. And there's a second way that you can do it on command prompt. Now pretty much the first one local security policy is for accounts that pretty much have Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise, and Education. But the second part that I'll show you through command prompt will be the easier route. So let's go ahead and get started. Do you want to stay in touch with the latest videos? Click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you won't miss the next episode. Alright guys, so the first thing you go do is pretty much you can go to start, or heck, you can go to start menu, um, or you can go type in the, and pretty much go to run, and secpool.msc will pretty much be what you would type in. As you notice, I've already made some videos before, and to show this to test it, go ahead and press OK, and you should be able to get to this right here. I'm going to go ahead and expand it. From there, you'll see a selection that says Account Policies. Go ahead and click it and expand. You could actually select on the side too. And you're going to then select Account Lockout Policy. As you saw earlier, I, well, during video, made a video to show you how you can change that lockout durations. So it's pretty much set up for 30 minutes. It'll do on the first time. The reset counter after will be 10 minutes. That means pretty much you just need to 30 minutes. Next time, if you ever mess up, it's going to turn to 10. But this is the part where we're going to show you how you can change your lockout threshold. Right now it's set up as three invalid logins attempts. Um, you can change this that you get multiple attempts. Because I know lots of times people have trouble with the very high security password. So I'm going to pretty much go set up as five to show you. And you would press apply. Usually by default it's set up to zero and then it disables this ability for them to work. But, you know, this will pretty much allow this policy to come up. And that one's pretty much set how to set up the invalid login attempts on there on this way. Now, the second option you can do this is pretty much through uh, command prompt. Right here, you're going to go ahead and change this. You can type in CMD and right click and select it. Or you can go to right click on the start menu and you'll see one called Windows PowerShell admin, possibly. Um, this pretty much took place for the command prompt, does the exact same thing, but be sure you choose administrator and then press yes. When you get there, you'll see a feature that you're going to type called net accounts. This will apply to all the accounts that are on this computer that are local. And you're going to then, just to see what's the list, and you see it's set up right here, set up for five attempts right here, thresholds. I'm going to change it to three to show you how it changes. Net accounts, I'm going to type in slash lock out um, try to find this right. Dress hold. And you put colon. And it means how many attempts you're going to put. I'm going to put three just to show you. Remember, it says five right here. Now I press enter. And it says the command has completed successfully. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this back up. And here it is set up to three. And that's pretty much it. Um, next, we're going to pretty much going to do just to show you. I'm going to go to run again. Open it up the other way, and to show you that it's changed. And here it is set up to three invalid attempts. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. Don't forget to subscribe to us, and also check out our merch that we have. We have t-shirts, um, jackets, cup, um, little coffee cups, pretty much. If you want to help us out, that would be great. Thanks for watching.